The first landing was made on December 8th. And during the two weeks following, beachheads were successfully secured at six points in the archipelago. The Nipponese assault troops had been well prepared for this kind of campaign. On Luzon, the principal island, the strategy called for the forces which had landed at several points to drive toward Manila and seize that objective. The main strength in that push was provided by the assault group which invaded the island at Lingayan Gulf, 110 miles from Manila, across central Luzon. By Christmas, Japanese invasions had been made at nine points in the Philippines, and the campaign to seize control of this important strategic area was well underway. After a thorough softening up process, the invaders pressed onward toward Manila, and what they hoped would be a quick victory on Luzon. During the first weeks of fighting on Luzon, the Japanese steadily reinforced their original assault units. As 1941 neared its end, the Japanese were succeeding in closing in on Manila from two directions. The Japanese plan for choking off the Philippine capital was working perfectly. Nipponese planes began bombing Manila in early December. The air attacks continued as the invading ground forces drew closer to the Philippine capital. The Japanese raids on U.S. airfields took a heavy toll of U.S. planes, many destroyed on the ground. At year's end, advanced Japanese units approached within sight of Manila which was still bombed, though it had been declared an open city. In little more than three weeks, the spearhead of the Japanese ground offensive on the capital had driven within striking distance of the objective. Evacuated by its defenders, Manila was the invaders for the taking. The Philippine capital passed into the hands of the enemy on January 2nd, 1942. The Nipponese claimed they were liberating the island. But most Filipinos scarcely considered it liberation. Japanese propaganda units went into action at once, spreading the doctrine of Asia for the Asiatics. Are we not all of the Far East, they asked? The advantages of life in the greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere were dinned into the consciousness of Filipinos of all ages. Mga kababayan, ang mga Hapon ay hindi natin kalaban. Some Filipinos helped the Japanese in their campaign. In Manila's streets, Filipino collaborationists spoke to their countrymen in Tagalog, a Philippine native tongue. The conquerors blamed the Philippines' troubles on the U.S. But their campaign was not an overwhelming success. Most Filipinos remained unconvinced. They remembered the story of Japanese rule in China and Manchuria. The greater East Asia propaganda continued throughout the occupation, but it needed strong backing. In mid-March, with the enemy in control of almost all of Busan, General Douglas MacArthur, the American commander, left the island on orders from Washington and assumed new duties in Australia. The general arrived on the down-under continent to...